one of the things that we definitely need to normalize during sex is pussy fart, aka coughing. That's yeah, coughing yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we've said I this before in the podcast. Se- we'll not stop shouting about it. I am sick mm. and tired of it being something to be embarrassed about. If it's like, <laughs> let's look at each other. <laughs> let's look at each other. Hi guys, Marugi Muni here. It's Lydia KM. And we're back again with another episode of The Messy In Between. It's It's definitely definitely TMI. extraordinarily happy saying the messy in between. I did? Yeah. <laughs> the messy in the between. The messy in between here. <laughs> How will you know I'm happy, guys? How will wow. you know I'm happy without you guys? Exactly. You, you gotta feel it. You gotta feel the energy mm-hmm. from me. Mm. Yeah, I feel good. How did you feel, honey? I'm doing all right. My yeah. period is, is has come with a vengeance. Has your period ever woken you up in the middle of the night? No. Yeah, I, I, it literally woke me up. It's really? just the like, cramps? Yeah, it's not even the cramps. Mm. It was kind of like just a discomfort. I just woke up. I was just like, mm, I'm not comfortable. Yeah. And you start just feeling like kind of wet. You just, oh. And like, you know, it's just like, no, I got to go to the bathroom. Now your sleep is disturbed. Yeah. Now you're... Yesterday, it, it came with a vengeance. In oh, the afternoon, yeah. I was like, no. What is it? I, I, what is happening? Why? I thought it gets better when we get, as we it's get older. Supposed to. Maybe it's just the IUD, perhaps. Is I just it? feel like with the IUD, we just can't rest. You can't. Yeah. It's true. At least day one, anyway. This is, but yeah. mm-hmm. if you're going to be out here sitting upon things, mm-hmm. you need to be on something. You need or, to. Mm, it you makes need me to wonder if I'm if I'm looking forward to menopause. Because you know, I, I think I am. Like it sounds like it's gonna be horrid, but also it'll be so nice to not have to think about I'm getting a period. It's not always horrid, but it's, it depends on your lifestyle a lot. My mom just said she kind of passed it because like she was working out, she eats really well, so it's like mm. the the things that supported her through that. Like she just felt like it kind of passed, mm. but everyone is different because maybe they still have that yeah. lifestyle and still it's pretty hard. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, guys, welcome to another episode of our podcast. Thank you that you've clicked on the video. Thank you that we know you've subscribed. Thank you that you have already given a thumbs up because you know that you're going to enjoy it. And also thank you for telling your cousin and your auntie and your sister <laughs> about our podcast. That actually just makes me the happiest. Every time you guys send us screenshots about conversations you're having about TMI in your DMs, in your WhatsApp groups, I just feel so happy. I know. I, I just feel so blessed. I feel like, wow. Like, you're, yeah. you're just there sleeping, thinking like, oh, what should we do for, for TMI to help it grow? But really, you guys are helping us grow. You are. You're spreading it, um, you're spreading it like wildfire. And the people who are first on the YouTube video who say, this episode is amazing, minute one. We haven't even minute seen one. anything. <laughs> oh minute my God, one. Oh my God, I, I love, love this. this so much. Oh, wow, <laughs> girls. We love you guys. We see you and we know that your expectation for us is amazing. And you know that we're going to always bring you the most amazing content. Yep. And speaking of content, we are not just on the podcast mm-hmm. episodes. We bring plenty of content on our Instagram, on our TikTok. Make sure you're following us on TMI Podcast KE, Lydia KM and Murugi, Murugi Muni. Do you want to say end content? Because oh, like- right. So we, are, we have so many pages now. I we have know, so many minutes. Geez. And now Kagi Wellness. Yeah. Guys, I launched my wellness brand, Kagi Wellness, on by the time you're seeing this. On we'll the, say the first, first of September. On the first mm. of September, we have got um an affirmation calendar. I just I just we we'll just put things here on the corner. Mm-hmm. A journal, and we just launched the merch this Friday. Show us uh, nicely. You know the mic is, is hiding. Now if I move it, we'll just trust, yeah? We trust. Thank Thank God God today today didn't start without me. I love it. I feel like you have Kenya on a (laughs) chokehold with with that. (laughs) In fact, I'm just like, I literally just say it out loud to myself when I wake up. I'm just like, thank God. Thank God. Because there was an option. Yeah. Thank God there was an option. So yeah, we've got some merch. We've got some mugs. So make sure you're checking us out on Instagram, Kagi Wellness. That's Mm -hmm. where you can do all the orders. We have orders um, countrywide and throughout Nairobi. Actually, we even have Tanzania and... Uganda, Uganda yeah. I would assume Tanzania and Uganda and as well. Tanzania, yes. Tanzania and Uganda. Yeah. But anyway, so, yeah. follow the page so that you can have all the information and also yes. shop all the things. We can leave a link in the description box below. Yes. Anyway, yeah. thank you guys for coming to this episode. This episode is in partnership with Beducated, and you know what that means we are talking about. Um, so that means we are talking about SEO. 
our favorite thing to conversate <laughs> about. That's what we are talking about today. And we had started, we had done an episode about stop normalizing and start, and normalizing. start normalizing. So mm -hmm. today we thought we were going to talk about things we should start normalizing. Sex edition. Yes. Yeah. So like, I already have one she, which I'm always screaming about. She's dying. She's dying to say. But basically just things which happen in the bedroom, which everyone is either shy to talk about or always is like, oh my God, what that happened? Or treats it as abnormal when mm -hmm. really it happens to enough people. Yeah. Or enough people experience it that it should just be considered normal. Yes. And that we should just normalize. Yeah. Right? 100%. And mm. one of the things that we definitely want to debunk, like, first of all, as women and then as with TMI, is the is this kind of hush hushness and dirtiness and darkness about sex. Mm. And one of the reasons why so many of us suffer around that area is because of that. Mm. So we want to demystify some of these things that are happening to everyone. Yeah. So instead of you going to the group chat saying, do you know what? Oh, I feel so embarrassed. Guess what I did? I did... Mm -mm. There's none of that. It's it's normal. Right? Yes. Yeah. But also, it's not that everyone has to be as forthright. Like, now you have to go and put on your stories. Hi, guys. Having sex. Um, I've just mm -hmm. noticed this discharge. What do you think? Like, it didn't have to be that much. Not but discharge. just... <laughs> Discharge. Let's normalize discharge. Let's normalize why discharge on the vagina. No, why did you giggle? Because I didn't expect that. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Also, sweetie. the word discharge just kind of sounds so... How does it sound? It just kind of sounds like it discharge. sounds like something is wrong. Yeah, but really, that's Can't not true. Can't you also true. smell the word discharge? <laughs> Jesus. I feel like I can kind of smell the word discharge but it's like a normal thing and it doesn't always have a smell right it doesn't I think majority yeah. of times it doesn't actually when it has a smell it's an issue is when you have you a UTI please go to the doctor yeah. please yeah but anyways those are some of the things that we need to, to normalize <laughs> yeah excuse me please excuse me please you're forever. excused thank you Let very me much start. <laughs> one of the things that we definitely need to normalize during sex is Pussy fart, aka quiffing. That's what yeah, quiffing is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we've said I, this before in the I've podcast. Said, we'll not stop I am shouting about sick it. Sick mm. and tired of it being something to be embarrassed about. And I've told you guys, girls, because it's happening to you, it's for you to set the standard whether or not it's a weird thing. If it's like, <laughs> let's look at each other. <laughs> let's look at each other. No, <laughs> let's look at each other in silence. I'm not, we're not, it's not going to be like, oh, guy, I'm so, what am I sorry for? Because I'm wet, <laughs> and then because of how you're thrusting me, I'm queefing. Mm -mm. Nothing to be embarrassed about. And it's you who sets the standard whether or not that's embarrassing. And yeah. I refuse to have any male who is coming in and inside of me to then make me feel bad about queefing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the internet describes queefing, in case you don't know, as vaginal flatulence that can... Um, can have causes that aren't due, due to underlying disease such as sexual activity. So in this case, it is just the expulsion of air. It's literally just it's air, air coming out of an inside place to an outside place through your vagina. Done. It could be gas as well, mm. they people, said. As people have said um, yeah. uh, about gas, but I don't So it's think... like a fart, but a fart from the front. But what I'm wondering is that if ordinarily you wouldn't ever fart from the front, why, why, why is time? it now you're farting? And also what I feel about it is like, it, it's like I know, even sometimes I know when it's coming, mm. right? Especially when you're like, on in doggy, you're like wet. When you turn doggy your leg, no one, no. when you turn your leg like this, <laughs> doggy needs to be the nah, finisher. Dog, <laughs> no, let doggy be the finisher. Oh, and, and also, the, the, maybe there's a way to get down. Like maybe you go down on your knees, but yeah, they, uh, it's hard to avoid like, it. Yeah, but there's nothing to avoid. If there's a pussy for let's look at it. Oh, okay, okay, I have a weezing. question. I have a question, Lid. <laughs> there's a difference between like, okay, let's normalize versus you're definitely going to feel some type of way when there's this in the middle of the sexual experience. I just feel like it's going right. to be a shared experience. That's all oh, I'm saying. Right. We are both it's a going shared to <laughs> experience. That's an us thing. Like, look what's just happened to us. us. I'm not, not me. Ah, why, why is it me? I didn't cause this on my own. If you weren't here, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Tomorrow in the news, Lydia KM admits to frequent queefing during sexual experiences. It is what, what it is. is. That's it. That's <laughs> the thing. And it's normal. Let's just normalize it. it I agree. Is. It is. Let us normalize. This one I'm very passionate about. Let us normalize so stopping in the middle of sex to rest. Yeah. Yeah. And, and can't we, can't we just like, sometimes sex like takes long. You know, and sometimes like you get tired, especially if it's like around two sex, for example. Round one sex, I feel like it just tends to go pretty by pretty quick yeah. for some people, not mm. for everyone, mm. for some people. But like round two sex, it sometimes can take really long. And sometimes you're tired. <laughs> and like maybe you, you've already orgasmed because may feel like once I've gotten there, I, I just assume 
a minute or two later, you should be arriving. Ooh, if you have not arrived, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Is that a standard? Mm. Is it? A minute or two, you should have finished. Yeah, because why, why? Because my assumption is you are already ready to finish, but you are kind of like stopping yourself from doing that so that I could finish first. Because most of the time, the guy yeah, is coming. Exactly. Faster. So may I just assume it's going to finish quickly, but like now it's been 30 minutes, an Whoa. hour, whatever. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like even stopping in the middle, just be like, oh, babe, do you want to go get a drink? Oh, yeah. Can I get us drinks or something? And then you just like relax. You're kind of chilling. I know it can kind of kill the vibe at yeah. that moment but the vibe can always be gotten back yeah i feel so yeah and also like when you're when you're doing a position which is like hard right yeah i go to the gym yeah but this isn't gym <laughs> this isn't gym why am did i she, here doing hip she's thrust? saying this and yet she's the queen of always say anytime i pant oh did you did you go to the gym did you whatever please it doesn't mean that we have ultimate fitness it, I, I'm, I, it's me who please. said that today i was like yeah. i'm tired of the standard of gym being like okay then i can't even <sighs> yeah it's like, no. you, wait, you're punting from uh -uh. actually running Please. 28 kilometers. And what's it, the, the, especially like the one where you is like, you are on your legs and you're like bouncing like I that, not on that, your though. knees. Mm. When you're bouncing like that, I want permission to be tired. Yeah. I want permission for my legs to ache naturally. Please, that yeah. just makes sense. I never do that though, ever. Yeah, it's I just really feel good. like I, it's so good. Really, Oof, yeah. it seems like it requires a certain really intense level of fitness. It does, but yeah, that's like... what I'm saying. If I've even volunteered for this to like come here and show yeah. out, if I'm tired, I want it to be okay. Yeah, I agree. I saw someone on, on social media saying mm -hmm. that uh, try that if you've been doing the bouncing on your mm -hmm. knees. Try bouncing now like that, With squat the, it and down, please, and see the heart. rent, see the rent and gas money trickle in. Or swoosh, swoosh oh, yeah, in. it's something. It's really? something. Yeah, for it's both something. parties. For both parties, okay, it's something. Fine. I wonder if there's a course about that on education because mm -hmm. I feel like I need some some. And I can't. You can't take from yeah. porn because those people be doing the most random things. No, porn mm -hmm. is not the mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Then maybe Kushikilia here, and then on being on the legs. See, now it's not a problem. Around. Our headboard is so high. Mm -hmm. Why? Because oh, so like, you guys are always on the bed. Yeah. All well, right. not always, but like most, most times. Of the yes. Time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please don't. It's it's not it's not that serious. Please. I want, I want. You want to try? Try. If you, if a hip breaks, if a spine, if a disc And now shift. TMI is having to take a break because we can't, because <laughs> I got broken during sex. But I'm broken. willing to try, to be honest. I'm willing yeah, to try. It's really, really good. I will check if there's a like course on educator about it. Opening. Mm. It's like your legs are really open. Yeah. It's just like done. Yeah, then. I imagine that might would actually be better because you know when you have really thick thighs, mm. when I'm knelt on top, mm. it's kind of like I have to physically separate my thighs oh. first. Things you've never even thought about because right. you once you open your legs, it's open. Right? No, not for me because my thighs touch at the top. Mm. So even when I open, it's just kind of like you have to kind of physically separate. But then once the penis is in, then it just stays there. But that sounds so sexy, though. Does it? Yeah, like I guess like it is. All that Take the meat. Like, you ugh. hold this side. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> God. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Okay, that was my point. Yours now. Yeah, for mm. sure. Um, another one is uh, we think we need to normalize not getting sex a 10 out of 10 every time. Right? All right. Mm. I just think we just need to maybe and also judging sex just this one time and making it like that's what the story is. Sometimes the sex is like a solid 9.5. What you Nine point five. What? <laughs> I was about to be like, okay, what's the minimum, minimal acceptable? You know, like, I feel like for me, a five is okay. A five for me is the minimum. Like, it can't be bad, but it needs to be like it's okay. Something. It's just it like be between you got okay on and top, great. you yeah. got in and now, yeah. Then you got out, and then you got you know? out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's and fine. And I feel like sometimes there is some pressure, and it's like it's like then you start thinking like, oh no, it wasn't that great. Like, you know, what does Are this mean? Are we losing mean? it? Hello, anxious attachment style. Stop. He's not into me anymore. It's not. Is, he, is hates it, me. he hates me. Exactly. <laughs> and sometimes, and I guess this is either the same point or like a different point, but it's like there are seasons of sex. Yeah. I feel. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember seeing something on your story the other day. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was one of your affirmations where you said you deserve the something of newness. What the is it? goodness of newness. Of newness. Mm -hmm. And in the context of sex, mm -hmm. sex when you've just met someone. Mm -hmm is like different, very, very different, different. from sex that when you've been married 10 years mm -hmm. or even sex when you've been in a relationship mm -hmm. a year, two years, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's bad. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's different. Yeah. And people just need to normalize the, the the ups and downs of sex. When you've had a child, mm -hmm. it sometimes things is, it, things are going to be different. Mm -hmm. When your body changes, maybe you've lost a lot of weight. Maybe you've gained a lot of weight. 
maybe you've been ill and then now you've gotten better. Yeah. Like it could be anything, mm. but I feel like there's definitely seasons and people need to acknowledge that. Yeah. I think when it's like a point where the sex has been bad every single time for a year, then you know you, you have a problem. Like and you, you kind of need know to. You know, Mukami doesn't have that patience of bad sex. It's like let let's discuss why it's bad, baby. Yeah, let's work through that. Yeah, because this is just a symptom. Mm. Because bad bad sex. Yeah, I tell you guys, I'm always telling you, like it's. I feel like sex is so invasive. It's mm. like why is this terrible? Why you know? Why am I who's winning here? This? Who's <laughs> winning? It can't be you. Maybe it's okay. Is it possible for the sex to be bad for you and it's great for him? So I don't think so. But what I feel is like mm. it could be better for you like you know you could maybe say it's a seven mm. and like i'm saying it's like a solid four you may feel like sex can be really bad for a woman and really great for a guy because like if men can really fuck great. chairs or whatever like literally <laughs> i don't know anything even like those please i feel like literally a motionless object versus this is a warm body that yeah. already i feel like makes it okay for them maybe or maybe like that's just from there yeah. maybe that's just my opinion because also i'm not a man so mm. if you are king between her, maybe you can just let us know but me i kind of just feel like this it's different. It's it's different. What's required yeah. for great for us mm. is definitely a higher bar. Yeah. I think. I think so. It's more it's like you need more intentionality to mm -hmm. like get me, you know, to get my body like all the way there versus yeah. you, which is just like enough friction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could be. Maybe yeah, we are not you're saying right. the truth. It could though, be. Yeah. No, no, no. It could, it could be. be. I know I've so, had right? sex where I was just like, I'm not even present. I'm literally just I'm dead not... here. <laughs> but you came. Lady Danbury, is that Lady you? Da it's, is me. That you? it's me, it's <laughs> me. But guys, even through the seasons of sex, I feel like using, having tools and resources that you can use to be able to get things back where they are, especially if it's something which has been happening for a while. Mm -hmm. Let's say you've been, you've gotten bored or sex is not happening as frequently. Yeah. It's always in the same place. It's always you're obviously changing. the same. You're changing, mm -hmm. exactly. Beducated is an amazing resource that you can help to help you get your sex life to where you want it to be. Yeah. It doesn't have to be necessarily great, although it can actually help it get great. It but we would highly, highly recommend. You guys have had us speak about them numerous, numerous mm -hmm. times. And if you have never tried them out, let this be the time that you try them out. If you use our code TMI podcast on the website, I saw a few people actually DMing us and asking us, is where is the app that I download? Mm -hmm. It's just a website. It's a website. Yes. Yeah, but I just feel like it's super, super helpful. Especially even if it's just for like once, once. It doesn't have to be like, now we are a beducated couple. And every day <laughs> we are trying a different course. Every day we are doing, just watch it when, watch the video when you can because there's video content there's audio content yeah. there's like stuff that's written there mm -hmm. that can really help you address any of the issues that you're having whether it's like um there's one particular course they recently launched what was it called banish bedroom boredom, boredom. yeah banish bedroom boredom which is fantastic if you are trying to just like spice things up a little bit yeah. just add a bit of royco yeah. adding a bit of royco on there and you know funny mm -hmm. enough like the people who put infrastructures in place to keep them um, returning back to the center mm. of like a good healthy relationship mm. that's what usually is helpful mm. so instead of waiting for everything to plummet and then looking for the resources mm. it's more of this is where we go if we feel like we want to spice something so if anytime yeah. we feel like oh, no, 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 maybe things are a bit we already have the infrastructure in place right there exactly that's, that's definitely the best way forward and mm. I, if you make it like a fun thing it doesn't have to be like the problem, like, yeah. oh, once Beducated is out, that means then we're having it. Then you know, we're no. having it. No. Mm. Every so often, random, just do a little something yeah. for him and then you just know? be like, you know, Beducated. <laughs> Exactly. I'm like a date night. You, know, or you can have educated nights or something like that. Beducated date Ooh. nights where every single time you're trying a new thing from beducated. Huge. Where it's like you have watched, me have watched, and then let's come we, together. We come and let's bring come together. Yeah. Let's have together. With healthy practicals. boundaries because you don't know what they're trying. Exactly. You don't know what he's went <laughs> on there to see. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, every, click yeah. the link down in the description box and use the code TMI podcast, which gets you 40% off your annual um subscription fee. And that code is locked in for life. So you will yeah. always get 40% off. Yeah. yeah. And every time we do have like a break where we haven't um had this episode to remind you, there's mm. always the where is the code, where is the code, where is mm. the code? Here TMI, is the code. Here is the code, TMI the code. podcast. Yeah. Speaking of um like needing, like you're like, okay, sometimes a man needs to do something to get your body going. Mm. Can we normalize needing lubrication? Yeah. Sometimes. Like I feel like sometimes Okay, for example, I think it was the last episode, or was it last episode but one, where we were talking about how sometimes I won't be in the mood for sex, but he's in the mood for sex. Mm. And because, like, I want you to have it, 
um, then I will be willing. Like sometimes maybe I'm not like mentally, I'm not like, oh, I'm so excited to have sex. Mm -hmm. I would be willing to start with lubrication to just get things going. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And sometimes women, especially it's like you've 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 been having sex, it's been great, you've been wet, mm -hmm. and then you've already orgasmed, mm -hmm. but the sex is still ongoing for like ages. And sometimes it's, it's you okay might need, and it's okay, yeah. And sometimes it's just like you're not super, super dripping. I feel like that happens more so in long term relationships. Definitely. I feel like that happens. And it's just like using a little bit of lube is okay. Yeah. Mm. You I know you're a fighter for lube for sure. I'm a fighter. And I mm. used to be a big lube user yeah. when I was like um a bit younger, but mm. I don't know what it is that I don't I, I don't like I only use lube for anal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. First Rarely of all, for my we need to normal. That needs that's to be a, fast, a standard. No, that's a standard. <laughs> that Jesus is not, it's is not Lord. even a question. No, that the is lube obvious. is yeah. and, and saliva is not lube. Yeah. So mm. I feel like um, I don't know what it is. I don't exactly enjoy it mm. because usually for me, and I guess it's, it's the moment where it's just like yeah. I'm not really into this. Yeah. This is not the time where I really just want. I'm so excited about. Yeah. But I do want to show up for you because yeah. sometimes sex is about I want to show up for, for you, you yeah. more than this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So exactly. I guess in those cases, you can definitely be open to that mm. as opposed to like the spit. And then now I'm looking at you because I know this isn't working. Yeah, exactly. And now this is just making me sad. And now you or feel the, the sad. Yeah, or the, that's the thing. Now everyone is sad. The awkwardness of like, he's really trying to stop. <laughs> stop. You know Baby, how awkward stop. it is. And then let me tell you what makes it even more awkward. Oh, I've been in this situation. I feel bad right. for younger <laughs> John. Listen, he's like, he's trying to enter and he's not. And you know, it's because you're not wet because yeah. it's just like you've not done enough to make me wet and it's like oh you're really tight that's not it mm -mm. that's not it that's not it sir it's not really the tightness i mean i am but like that's not the reason why you can't get in it it's is. just because it's just not lubricated enough and i feel like and the fact that you don't know that is what's it's, the saddest. it's so sad oh my god it's really sad but i feel like if i'm with my partner I know that I shouldn't need ideally to have used lubrication like every time we're having sex. In fact, no. more often Unless than you not, know yeah. that there's a pre-existing condition. That's the thing, yeah. exactly, because sometimes that there is a condition. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I used to actually think I had that condition mm, you said. until I met my man. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm. no, so it the was other men that was the problem. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's just the, the other ones. The ones with the issue. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like more often than not, I wouldn't need it. But like in the time that you do need it, let's let it be a normal thing. Let's normalize it. Actually, yeah. it's and it eases off the pressure because I mean, what if you don't? Yeah. And also, saliva isn't actually a lubricant. So it's like when somebody uses it, it's like maybe you feel all right in that moment. Mm. Then we are back again here in two yeah. minutes. Awkwardville. Yeah. And keep everyone it, just is keep it in your in your bedside drawer. And then like at that moment, just be like, oh, babe, let me just put a bit of lube just to make things, you know, a bit more, you know. I'll be more open to it. Yeah. I I'll think be, be more be open, more to, open it. to it. I will. And then you, you'll be surprised how like now when you put the lube, it's kind of like, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I feel a pressure mm. to be like super wet or like super dripping. And it's like, if you're not, then it's just like, oh God, I don't want to let him down. I don't want him to think I'm not enjoying this because I am. But like so many different things affect the wetness. You know when what's it? You've been so um, you've been so wet or whatever, yeah. and then like after you guys have fucked, it's like there's this foam whiteness all over his dick. Yeah. that's too much pressure. That's too much we pressure. Can't do I love that, that but I can't. <laughs> like, sir, I can't do that. But that is so sexy. I love seeing that. It's like, wow, look really? at that. I love that. Mm. It's like, wow. It's like we foamed. We foaming. foamed. Ah, that's so sexy. But yeah, it's too much pressure because now you've come out your dick. There's no, nothing. there's nothing. Exactly. And it wasn't like it was bad. It was just like, you know, there's a, there's a standard. I'm going to be more open. I've Thank actually, you. This is it. I've, I've okay. That. And since we are normalizing that, should we also normalize like um softness in the middle of the sexual experience? Because that's like the male version of like being wet. I don't right? mind, but what, what do we do about that? What advice do you have? You for see, us? like, for example, <laughs> like, how do we, where do we go where from do we go, here? Hun? I feel like, okay, so it's like somewhere in the middle. For example, he's eating you out. His penis maybe is not in use. So maybe okay. he's not getting horny from eating you out, he, but you are. So yeah. that's really great. Mm -hmm. But like now he's soft, which is like, it's okay, yeah. kind of. And then now I guess like if you want it to progress from there, then we just begin the trek of getting real hard again. I, I, and I don't have a problem with that, by the way. I mm. actually feel like if I'm not wet, it's like you are the one who's trying to get me wet. And mm. so if you are not firm, as firm as we yeah. would aspire to be. <laughs> if you have not reached the standard of hardness. The standards of hardness that helps us both enjoy this experience the best. The best, yeah. I'm willing and able to do what I gotta do. Exactly. But like now, what about like someone getting soft in the middle of like the actual sex? 
I don't know if that's ever happened that, mm. to to my awareness. And then now he's trying to push the yeah. Me, it has happened, but is, I, is I feel like was it? Is it, what they call, they call a softy or something? <laughs> We are not laughing at the at the soft it's just penis. Like, is that what it's, it's called? It's just like yeah, like, and then Flas, now... flaccid, the flaccid penis. Yeah. Okay. So what did you do? Tell us. We were both very drunk, so we just like stopped ah, okay, and slept. Fine. Yeah. yeah. I feel like when men are drunk, it's like it's more difficult to either sustain it mm -hmm. or to yeah. keep it up. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. It's true. Yeah. So, or yeah. it's like harder for some women to climax as well when they're yeah. drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to normalize that yeah. and to put in the effort to do what I gotta do. Exactly. Yeah. We can I'm do that. It. Yeah, we can do we that. We should also start normalizing having frequent sex catch-ups outside of the bedroom. Okay, so yeah. this is my cup of tea. Continue. Yeah, exactly. So like just communicating honestly and not in like a sexual context of just like, oh, now we are horny, we are talking about mm -hmm. sex or like even not in the immediate aftermath. Just like, like a random AGM. On, exactly. <laughs> a sex AGM. Yes. Sex AGMs every so... That's now one boy's word. Every time I hear AGM, I'm just like, one. <laughs> exactly. You have TMI AGM. AGM. Don't forget that. Where Anyways. are we going? Where, Where are we going? Are we what is the point of being? Why Where? are we here? Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much, <laughs> one boy. Anyway, but like just catching up in a way which is just like I want to to know where you are at. Like r recently, have you been enjoying our Let's sexual practice. experiences? I'm okay. your man. Go. Hey, babe. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm great. This is just like a random Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, We're just like lying on the bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I just wanted to check in with you about something. Um, do you mind if... Oh. <laughs> I want to restart. I want to restart. I want to restart. Forget the okay. hi, how are you? Okay. Babe, mm -hmm. um, have you been enjoying I mean, sex mm -hmm. lately? Oh, yeah, please. Have you been enjoying sex lately? Of course, you're 10 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. What exactly about our sex recently has been making you happy? Badass. The way it jiggles when I'm fucking... Wow, yeah. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Zach, is that you? It's me. Oh my it's god. Me. Yeah, I told like, you I could be her man. Yeah, I told you. Exactly. Then maybe I could be like, oh yeah. Do you want to ask me? You ask me. Okay, it realistically, I don't know if you wouldn't ask. You wouldn't yeah. ask. Then I'll just be like, yeah, oh, I've also really been enjoying like um our sexual connection. However, however, <laughs> um, you know, I've just I've been thinking maybe we should um watch some videos together and and get some new material for things we could try. So there's this app I saw so, on TMI. So there's something Beducated. wrong. No, nothing is wrong. I just feel like, I mean. So what do you want me to know? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just like trying different things, baby. You don't have to try different things with me. Oh, okay, cute. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, obviously not from a point of this like. This is the time you do is, remove your yeah. clothes. It would be great <laughs> this instant to remove the breasts. Yeah. No, to but, ease the pain. <laughs> but me, I'm saying the opposite. We want to be non-sexual. You see. But if you have to go into that bag okay, hand yeah. to ease things because yeah. it's getting awkward, yeah. go in it. Also, definitely, especially if it's a, it's a more, if the feedback that you're giving is like a bit more negative. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit more difficult. Like you have to be a bit tactical about it. But my idea is like to normalize having those kinds of conversations sessions frequently so that when you bring it up it's not like strange it's not like a, a you know unusual or whatever mm -hmm. or even doing it in the way of like you see a video about something online and then you just send them like ah look at this cool I, maybe we should try this yeah oh, but it's, I, I think it's a culture it's really it's a, a culture, culture thing, you have yeah. to gently mm -hmm. bring in because sex is such an intense topic for yeah. a lot of men mm -hmm. and a lot of people actually mm -hmm. it's one of those like we just don't talk about and sometimes it's uh, it's often like kind of a sign of disconnection because we don't talk about it ever mm -hmm. it's like that that's that's yeah. odd yeah, yeah. I think so. That does sound like quite challenging. Yeah, but, but are I you feel up like for it's it? doable. Be up for it. Yeah. Be up for it. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing now um is we should normalize getting STI tested regularly. When's the last time you got tested? Mm, a long time ago. But I think no, actually, last year, mm. during like you know, when you do the um what do you call it? The like so full body, oh. full mm. body kind of like mm. thing, which mm. Zach's work, they usually mm. have like an annual, like come do your full body checkup. Yeah. So at that, mm. I just did the tests yeah um, i didn't I, have any stis i think stis um is mostly more of like a western concern mm -hmm. western world concern here mostly people just get tested for hiv mm. and aids That's except it. like if you have a problem like for example if you're eating if you're if you're like sucking your man's dick or and you, you notice something. notice tiny pimples 
or you know he tells you oh i've been having some discharge or you start having some certain kind of whatever especially when you know you've been engaging in risky sexual behavior because me I remember when i was single mm -hmm. i used to get sti tested more a lot more frequently yeah. now i just because don't because different people yeah now yeah. it's just like if i have like an issue or if maybe i go to my gyna for like the iud mm -hmm. test or mm -hmm. something like that then is when i'll do it but like i wouldn't just randomly at i've just gone yeah i get that the more of like mm -hmm. you're in a um, stable relationship the, the less likely you are but mm. we can't on the one hand Nairobi is one big bedroom but no one wants to admit to get like no one wants to get STI tested which one is it yeah it can't be one or the yeah. other I think yeah. like actually the, especially single people if you are you know sexually active but you don't have one particular partner mm. we need to normalize doing more than just HIV tests because it's only HIV tests as For you sure. mentioned and assuming you're not using do. protection yeah 99% of you yeah mm -hmm. or even if you are using protection because you can get herpes from kissing someone or eating their pussy super super extreme yeah. but yes correct but it's, it's possible yeah. yes it is so let's do more of yes. that I'm here for in between partners Mm. I always get tested for sure. Like so that you in know between partner. Am yes. I going into the yes. next so phase I with know. something? You know, so it's like I have this date to know that I was clear from this date. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's so that like you know even who you're addressing. You know, sometimes when you hear someone has like an STI and you're like, you have to make like 10 phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> Han, why is it 10? And no, it's no, I'm not shaming promiscuity. Go for it. But I'm saying that like, if you are not using protection with so many people without knowing mm. like who like where the clearance period is, I yeah. think that's I think that's tricky. But yeah, I'm here for people getting tested as often as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, the last time you got tested was? Um, I think this time last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you are good or? All good. Okay. Yeah. No herpes, nothing. Pray. I I prayed to the <laughs> Lord. Wow, it's all good. Thank God. Good for you. Okay. So this these ones, some of these ones are mine, but no, some of them are not mine. I got tested earlier this year. Oh, Sorry. really? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> very happy for you. So, I think we should normalize sex that doesn't involve kissing in the mouth. So, we should normalize <laughs> hatred. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, because like sometimes sex just happens and it's just sex and it doesn't have to be like you're kissing, you're fondling, you're canoodling. It's just the sex. Without even a, no nothing. Maybe after you can kiss like, oh, that was nice. I don't know. All right, a show of hands in the room. There are four people here. Who wants sex without kissing? Not who wants. Oh, sorry. Who, who sometimes gets sex, sex without, without kissing. kissing? You always kiss during sex. Yes! No, Joe, don't raise your voice about this one. This one, you are the odd one out. No, you see what I think. I feel like, especially, okay, tell me guys in the comments and just be honest, married people or people in long-term relationships, it's the middle of the night or it's early in the morning. First of all, everyone's morning breath. So more, like, without morning breath, w w no. Yeah. Still, no, no, you're just you kissing with your mouth closed. Morning breath or whatever. It's like pecs. Don't tongue kiss me with uh, your morning mm -hmm. breath. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. It's okay. No, listen. N none of us here are married. So this tell us, yeah. married people, you guys are just getting fucked like that. No yeah. kissing. Exactly. You have so much to look forward to. Okay, in fact, maybe I should have put it like this. Let's normalize different kinds of sex existing without shame and guilt. So like you can have super intimate bonding, making love sex, or without you can kissing. have... Ha, no, that yeah. one with kissing, obviously, because it's yeah. like super intimate mm. bonding. And then, but the other one is just like, it's just a fuck and you fucked and then it's done. I feel like we definitely need to do that. Yeah. Like, I don't think that the fuck though requires no kissing though, but it can be a fuck. And it's just like, there was some kissing. But it doesn't always have to be like, you know, oh, it doesn't always have to be. Maybe that. I need to talk about this in therapy because like even if when I watch like a steamy mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. a steamy video, mm -hmm. I just find it uncomfortable when other people kiss intimately. It's just like, why are you doing that? Do you kiss intimately? Yeah, and I love it. But I don't, I kind of like just don't, I like it within the context of like, we're just kissing and cuddling and like being intimate, but not necessarily within the context of like the sex. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe you should talk about yeah. that in therapy. <laughs> yeah. And, and this is not the first time you're fighting for your right to not be kissed. <laughs> She's done this before. Why you say it like that? It is, so you, right? You've been fighting I for your right though. to not be I, kissed. I, 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 and, I, I, and guess what? I support it. If you don't want to get kissed, you, you shouldn't. Thank you. I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it then means like this is bad sex or he doesn't love me or we are disconnected. No, mm. it's just that we didn't kiss during this 
the this sex. This particular yeah. sexual experience. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. okay that it's okay that it's that. I give yeah. you total freedom, mm. but I think what you want is validation and acceptance yeah. from the world. That's it. Tell us. And down from below. Lydia. Mm? From Lydia. I validate you. Thank you. You can have that. Thank you. You do need to ask why you're fighting for this <laughs> right though. It's the weirdest thing. I. It's okay if I don't want to be kissed. It's okay you don't want to be kissed. And you know, it's also okay, for example, if men don't want to give you head. Oh, don't be stupid. <laughs> don't be stupid. No, yeah. Don't be Let's stupid. normalize. <laughs> no, Let's, no, no, let no, me no. tell you what we should normalize. But men giving head, but you giving head, it should be, it should, it's okay. I mean, depending on what the person... Ah, why you know, is it there, depending you know, when it's a woman's men who, side? You know, there's also men who don't like being given head. So I've heard. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've met men mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. who don't enjoy it. That would be fantastic, by the way. My jaw has been through it. No, male, actually, I feel like head for me is feels like an easy way out. It's something I can do easily anytime, anywhere, whether I'm horny or not, and just still give you I, pleasure. Me, not I love every it. dick is about to go in my mouth, though. Oh, yeah, not so that's everyone. It. So it's like, oh. now it's like, it's easy, sure, but... Am I going to put that in my mouth? It's definitely not our first sex or second sex kind of like thing that we're going oh, to no, be doing. Oh, no, I've done it. But it depends on how pretty your dick is. That dick is pretty. Okay. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Nanuka no, no, it has to be clean and cute and smelly. Like, at least it's like the end of the day, not mm -hmm. it's the end of the week. It's not... <laughs> well, the end of the month smell. It's not the end of the month, please. Yeah, so, okay, if you don't want to kiss, that's fine. If you don't want to give I, head, yeah, that's fine. We, yeah, it's not that you don't want to, but, like, sometimes it doesn't have it's to exist okay in every experience. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to actually think if there's any sexual experience where there was not even, like, a peck. Are you being kissed on the neck and on the cheek and oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. So it's just the lip to lip. Mm. Okay, then that's fine. Mm. That's fine. That so makes there's sense. definitely some like affection. Like I there's can feel affection. like you like exactly. The way you're wording it is, is Maybe tricky. it's the way I'm wording it. Is, yeah. Please allow me to come back at, on a later date to to tell you, you know, what. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like the kissing on the cheek is, I was just like, I'm avoiding giving you my morning breath. Know that I don't want to contact exactly. you in your mouth. <laughs> I don't want to contact you. you <laughs> but anyway, speaking of watching videos, let me tell you something I've noticed the more I do educated mm -hmm. courses. Mm -hmm. There are some courses which when I'm watching, I definitely feel horny. The I others know where I can tell you that now. Which one? The what's it? To, how to give a, a good blowjob. Oh, that that's mm, just that's, for me. I mean, that's, come, it's, come on. on. Yeah. Come Even on. me for me, the one about like BDSM yeah. kind of thing. I was like, mm, okay, yeah. I can slap you right now. It's okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you have to slap me, then eat me out. Oh, okay. or, or, not one without that. That's the thing, exactly. <laughs> but you know, sometimes one of the things about like even when you scroll on Beducated, sometimes you don't you didn't even realize something excites you until you just scroll past it and you're like, hmm. Now you're wet. And me, my mind is like the fact that my mind now is like wet. once mm. I go through that and it's just like, it feels like uh, I'm a newborn in that area. Yeah. And I'm just like, let's learn. Exactly. And there's just something about like learning yep. this thing, which is like, you feel like you're mm. sexually aroused. Yeah. And it's not porn, guys. You feel like you're sexually aroused. Mm. But because of the way that you're being taught, it's like I'm in school. Mm. And by the way, learning makes me like, I love that. It's me so too. intriguing. Yeah. I love learning. I love getting new information. Mm. So the combination of the two is fantastic. 10 out of 10 minus exactly. nothing. Minus this, this, nothing. This is my mm. single season, guys. I've been practicing. Exactly. Many things. It's just so good. It's just so good. But also, I recognize that there are some people who are still a little conservative when yeah. it comes to sex. Mm. But I feel like this is a good in between because you don't have to watch the video. I think there's an option. And there's where you an just, indicator yeah. of like the level of explicit. That's the thing. Exactly. Yeah. So you can just listen to the audio. You can read the material that is given, um, whether you're not, whether you're not, you want to watch the video. So I yeah. feel like that's really helpful. Remember, yeah. you can use our code TMI podcast and just go try it out. Yeah. Speaking of educated and all the wealth of knowledge they give us, let's normalize trying things before we bash them as like oh ew i can't do that i won't do that i don't i'm I, I just feel like that's nasty isn't that painful let's normalize trying things i feel like majority of people are like that like are they they're the, trying the, things once no they're not yeah they're not they're not yeah and I, sometimes, I just feel like how many people are, are, are holding themselves back from the most amazing experience of their lives just because they're like ah no 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 like maybe you watched one video yeah. Where things had gone badly for that person. And now that's and it. And now you just are not willing to try anything else. And someone's else. experience and yours mm. are not twins. They're yeah. not even related whatsoever. Mm. And I do understand it. Sometimes it's like, I can learn vicariously through others. So mm. I don't need to go through this painful experience to know that it's bad. There are some things which is like, based on like my pain threshold, mm. I already know that that's like something that would be too painful for me. Sometimes you can kind of tell, but generally speaking, the attitude, especially to sex, mm. should be more open. Yeah. Should be more, let's explore. Let's see what other hole exists. Oh, oops. 
Oh, oh, oh my. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there's you another said one. It. There's you another said one. It. I said wow. it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Lydia has said on this platform before that she's usually willing to try something at least once yeah, before just bashing see. it. Yeah. yeah, before bashing That's it. That's the thing. But you might hear me bashing it. But then later on, I try it because maybe a partner is encouraging that yeah. or that's something that they're into. Yeah. I find it like really nice to, to be part of helping my partner's fantasies mm. come true. That, that makes actually, me feel oof. really good. I it makes love me feel that. really good. So it's yeah. like that kind of engagement where it's just like you want to try something and I potentially have... I am mm. able to do that for you. It's really yeah. nice. And I like that in return as well. I love it in return. Actually, yeah. that's a whole love language it on its is. own. It is. It's a whole love it language. Is. So just, just be more yeah. willing. But I guess, you know, this is going to be based on your values, what you're about. Mm -hmm. But just inviting you. We're just inviting you. Yeah. Cross over here, sweetie. <laughs> We're cross having a good over. time. Cross We're over. having a good time, honey. Wow, wow, wow. Another thing, people, we need to... St another thing we need to normalize as far as sex is sweating like dogs. I remember when we were There's talking about... There's a limit. Relax. Mm -hmm. And I, I know the context we're going to give. Mm -hmm. So I remember, I think when we said, I knew the sex was bad when so many people talked about sweating. Sweating and his sweat right? dripping you on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, I... <laughs> I personally... You guys have, have heard some of these positions that I'm doing. There is a time when I... W we were having sex. There's not even a time, many times, when I've been having sex where we are both like so hot and we're both sweating and dripping because it's a workout. I, I don't want that to be criminalized. I'm sorry. But what I think is... <laughs> Go on then. Mm -hmm. What I think is, is it sweating with cause? That's the question. <laughs> Because and that's five the, thrusts. That's on fitness. That's a problem. And that's on fitness. That, that's that, that's what tends to be the problem. Whereas if I see it's like you're swinging me from the chandelier, like I'm here on the couch, I'm on the roof. I, there needs to be an expectation. X plus Y is adding and, up to Z exactly. and it's making sense. Whereas now maybe it's like all you guys are doing is like just in missionary, just up. Lord, it's Lord Danbury. It's Lord Danbury and you're having to drink the sweat dripping mm. from his chin into your mouth. I get that. That's a problem. But sweating during a, a, an activity yeah. is literally just a normal reaction. Okay, let me suggest something. There needs to be some decorum. Okay. What's the decorum? A sweating decorum. <laughs> If, for example, you know, he knows that sweat is dripping from his face. Also, me, I've, I sweat during sex, but it's never like the dripping. It's like on my body. But like the dripping, like no, as if you've I've, been I've annoying. Had, I've had dripping sex. Yeah. Oh my Not God. even once or twice. Like, I feel like th that's a thing. Oh my God. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. No, I don't feel bad. I feel like the, it, like the, the, the level of activity that's happening okay. makes sense. Yeah. For me, it's more of like, the sex dripping on my face, mm. I'm unhappy with. Oh, this yeah. work, we are going to skin renewals to have someone else's sweat my, my thing dripping is, on my is, niacinamide. It's mission, is, is it missionary that's got you that hot? Is that it? is my problem. But even missionary done for 15 minutes is going to get you that hot, isn't it? If we're doing missionary for 15 minutes, that, that thing, we have bigger yeah. problems. <laughs> We have bigger, that's not our problem. Oh, no. The sweat Maybe, is the no, problem. No, 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 wait. Maybe you're doing the one for, what do we call it? Egging or... Um, okay. What is it called? Like then, where it's like you're getting close edging. to coming edging. Mm. Yeah, you get close, then you stop. Mm. You go slower. You get close, you go for slower. fifty minutes. Yeah, still, still. We do we not have jobs? <laughs> are we not? Are busy? we unemployed? We are launching businesses, what is happening? sir. Businesses. What is happening? <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm not shaming people for sweating, but if it, if it makes sense that we are, because mm. like we just started, like you're sweating is showing that you're not fit which is like then now that's the why gym. people are just like okay like mm. now that doesn't that's not like the sexy one mm. but if you're like working so hard you're like swinging me everywhere and you're sweating nah big daddy you can where sweat. do you want to be swung mm? wait where do you want to be swung please this shh, shh, shh. Oh my god you're allowed to sweat oh my god you're allowed to sweat. yeah okay, daddy anyway yeah go yeah. to the gym guys so at, at ah. least we are not whatever and then also me when i'm i like to be sweating when i'm in the position of like when i'm up because you see how like when you're what up are you doing sweating on the bottom yeah <laughs> you, if your legs are like up if you're also doing this or you're just laying there you know no, you also have to move with the rhythm but yeah. to the to the sweat to the point it, sometimes it's just you're feeling hot okay yeah sometimes, sometimes it's, it's hot. not the work sometimes you're doing it's hot you're in mombasa that's it's it not, <laughs> It's you're not your fault. It's your Mombasa. It's That's just the hot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm here for not shaming people for with for for sex, and also it's for okay sweat. for us mm. for sweat. Sorry, mm. and it's okay to gauge our fitness based on what we could potentially be causing others. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's normalize spitting cum. Sometimes your men don't be eating your fruits and it shows. Okay, we can tell. There's cum that smells nice and tastes nice and there's others that don't. And I feel like fruit really makes the difference. And yeah, yeah the, hair, the lifestyle. Your lifestyle for sure. and your health definitely makes a difference. I feel like women should not be forced to swallow everything. I think that's great. We should normalize <laughs> that. <laughs> we should, right? Yes. She's just a, a perpetual swallower. Like, I feel like, first of all, we've said the dick is pretty. I'm down for this. Mm. I'm committed throughout. I'm committed. You're I'm committed. not saying out. I'm really? committed, yeah. But I've never had a, a, a re, I've never had cum in my mouth that made me feel so mm. repulsed yeah, that I had to spit out. Like, mm. But I feel like if you do get that experience, spit you it. owe absolutely no one no the one. swallow. That's it. Yeah, and it's good maybe to spit it out and be like, you're a smoker, right? It shows. Oh, if Immediately after. Let's if, normalize. I, if I spit in there, because first of all, I'm not holding it to the bathroom. <gasps> I'm spitting it on your towel. Oh, <laughs> And let's hope the towel is right there because now Hopefully. are we changing the sheets? Or the ground. Oh, it is no. what it is. If, if I'm having to spit it because it's so disgusting, yeah. that's a conversation. I, and you know, I just feel like if somebody is at the stage where you're actually having sex with someone and sex is such an intimate thing, there really should be no shame around anything to do with the sexual I experience. I don't think so. Really, there just shouldn't. Yeah. Whether it's cellulite or, um, I don't know, sagging boobs or I something feel like that you're particular, nini, like conscious about. I just feel like if the person is already in your bed, now we are here. Every, no one should be feeling any shame about anything. Honestly. I refuse mm -hmm. to have shame when we're going through sex. I ha something embarrassing has happened to me before. <gasps> oh, what happened? No, I've already said it before on this just stupid episode that I again. keep sharing my entire oh, life. Please, but there are some things that are going to happen that are embarrassing. But it's okay. It's okay. But generally, like, shame around, like, some really basics. It's like, no, we don't need to. It's not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You know, sex is just so... Anyway... I wonder if there'll ever be a point in our lives we'll just be like, you know, I feel like I've had all the sex I can possibly have in my life and I'm just not into it no. anymore. You don't think so? No. You think your show shows and gukas are somewhere thinking about sex? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Maybe not mm. my show show. Oh. But a show show, definitely. <laughs> There's show 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 there swinging on those chandeliers still. I don't know. Keep the light, hand. You know, the funny thing is that old people... It's old people's sex lives or like how they interact with sex is one of those topics about sex that I'm just like, do we really know what happens? We don't. And like it's it's one just, of those we things. see it in movies and it's just like, but is that an accurate representation? Like I would genuinely want to know. I feel like they how still have people sex, interact with sure. sex. Yeah. But I think it's not in the way that we do. Like, because as you transition, there's like, I think there's more expression of who you are that's not mm. through your physical body. Mm. Because even by that time, your body is kind of giving in. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, it still happens for sure. I wonder. And what's old? What we're saying old is old. Old is like above 60. Oh, for sure. What are you talking okay, about? Okay, above 80. Maybe above 80 might be a bit extreme, but above 60. Are you kidding? Wait, how old is your mom? My mom is 50. My, my parents are in their 60s. So for me, I feel like that's usually my benchmark of like, this is a bit old. Like it's not yeah. super young. So you feel like your parents are done? No, I just feel like oh. they're kind of a bit old. I wouldn't say so. They are, I mean, kind of. Have you seen a lot of people grow really old? No. Maybe that's why. I because haven't. like people in my family, my Wuka, um, my great grandfather, I think he was like one, almost 101. Mm -hmm. um, every, people was are living into their 90s. energetic in his, in his no, old age? No, mm -hmm. but it's like I see, I've seen really old up mm -hmm. close. So it's yeah. like your parents being 60 is old. I can't even imagine that. Yeah. I go to see my grandparents. They're like 83. And yeah, yeah I don't know. I think that's but why I, would, because yeah. I wouldn't say that's old at all. I Tim actually, is I think in his, he's turning 65. Yeah. I actually wonder if there's a person educated about this. So somewhere on the internet where we can see information about like how sex changes as you get older. Yeah. I've seen people have a conversation about that. Yeah. I've seen people have a conversation about that in like 20s, 30s, 40s, but never like 50s, 60s, yeah. 70s, 80s. Like I would just want to know. Yeah. Grace and Frankie, I feel like I've seen pretty accurate. Like there's oh. a time like she broke her hip and what that was like you're like and you think about risking that. your life yeah for you, the sex you, you are literally you see how things are there's a time where she was dating someone young um the sh uh, it's a show um on, on netflix grace and frankie mm. and she couldn't get up like and they, they show a really honest of course it's very white women experience yeah. white women privileged by then they are, mm. they've got money and stuff mm. kind of experience but there's a way that i saw what old people kind of think like and what mm. they're about to yeah, and it's just I like, would, this is really interesting. Yeah, I would be very, really very interested, interested in knowing more about that. Yeah, 
Okay, tell us guys if you know more information you on know, that. Yeah. Another thing we need to normalize during sex is smells. Oh my god! I said and, all, I actually said all the sounds and, and smells, smells associated. It's, and also, with sex. we don't need to investigate every smell. <laughs> we don't need to go into Wait, it. Who is investigating? Because you know, it's like naturally when you smell something, your brain wants to know what that is. Sometimes it, there was a smell. No, but me, I feel like I feel like actually some smell. Like you kind of know the sex smell. You do Everyone know the, knows sex, the smell. sex smell. But yeah. some things are like. And also a mixture of your sweat and my sweat might be different, especially if this is like a new experience. You know, it's like you never know. And also in our cycles as women, we go through mm. a lot of transitions of what things smell yeah, like. So depending on the hormones. cycle you're in, it's like, hello, it's like, what's who knows? going on? Yeah. I, even I don't know, Jake. Yeah, so I don't know what's going not on. Not everything needs to be. Wait, no one needs to be having a conversation about any smell no. at any point in the sexual. You smelt it, so That's what? That's it. <laughs> Also, if you see sometimes, like, for example, when you're having <laughs> anal, sometimes there's like some residue of feces. And guess what? It happens. If you're in that hole, yeah. I don't want to hear Nothing. Pim. <laughs> I don't want to hear Pim. Yeah. If you've been allowed in that entryway. In. I, yeah. And also, it sounds like it's behind me. So yeah. that sounds like a you problem. Exactly. <laughs> Right? Exactly. It just you will just know later when you're doing like the wiping and whatnot. Yeah. But obviously there's ways like I know there's a course on be educated about anal and like yeah. anal play and, and how to exactly. And stuff. Um so of course you can check that out if you want to. Mm -hmm. But it gives you like some tips about like how to go about like anal. So yeah. obviously, like you've shit before, obviously. Yeah, and there's like you're douching. Not, I've seen that mm, there's douching, you clean yourself inside so you can make it like a bit more of a pleasant experience yeah i don't know if i'm that far i don't know if i'm i'm that committed so. to I'm, i don't know if i'm that committed to you having a pleasant experience because me i'm considering just like, already your, what your, i'm about to experience no, no thank myself. you myself no i yeah. don't think so and uh, here's the thing this is what happens and that's what we always tell even as we share our own mm -hmm. experiences here we're not experts mm -hmm. so going there i'm um, going on educated to make sure that what is being what is actually happening like in the in generally what to expect you're yeah. going to be able to see it there exactly. that's the best way to do it yeah yeah especially if you're, if you're going to try anal exactly or so any crushing. kinks actually because you know sometimes your man will be like oh you know i really want us to try um you know this cock ring having sex with a cock ring on you that's at that point maybe you've never heard about that particular tool you don't know what it's about you can be like oh yeah babe okay cool um maybe we try tomorrow night so that during the day you can now go and be educated or, you search there about babe, whatever I'll have a look yeah then we'll see then we don't can be decide. giving promises <laughs> jane whoa, 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 whoa. but we said we're saying yes at least once before we say no well, but let's at least investigate because okay let me tell you the one which i have most tension with mm. fisting no no yeah oh what why why saying yes at least once exactly but my pain threshold i already <sighs> know it i already know it and i don't know if that's me but apparently there's a way to do it that it's like in a seat i've investigated this by the way because for me i have because i'm like what is this thing that is stopping what is this thing that i'm saying no automatically to why because why no there has to be a reason maybe that's his kink no kink shaming boxing my no G -spot. it's not like that see boxing misconception no. Gentle. I, it's not a misconception, actually. Me, I've watched, I've watched fisting but porn. But it's not boxing. Yeah, it's it? not. But like, why? <laughs> I don't know. You see? Yeah. Okay. And that's no, what somebody feels about anal or fine. even maybe giving that's head. That's true. That's true. Mm. Yeah. But at least investigate and just see, is this something yeah, that I perhaps could? Yeah, there's a course on vegetated on fisting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We shall find it. We shall yes. find it for mm -hmm. you guys. Let's also normalize now that I said about cockery, using sex toys with partners. As opposed to it just being like it's only when you're masturbating that you need to use the sex toy. Let's use it on each other. Let guys. me tell you. Let's use it guys, on each other. Mm. This is not a story, but this is I was gonna say Simon, but maybe not. Don't. Um, so this is something which I've realized. When you're using a toy on yourself, your body is going to react to the mm. level of pleasure or like the height of your whatever. So it's like if you're coming, your body is like if it's too uncomfortable it's mm. gonna jerk your hand mm. to like get off or you know you're gonna have to fight that mm. there's a fighting like because your body is seeing that you're almost not being able to handle it so it wants to help you whereas mm. when somebody else is controlling the sex <sighs> oh oh no yeah if, especially with the rose i've definitely felt that with the rose and then i'm like no i've lo lost with the positioning and yeah, like it's, it's like, not the same it's not the same but when someone else and because when it matters is when they have shikiliated it properly Ooh. and they they're not going to remove it because they yeah. they're they not feel 
No. It's, let's it's normalize. A, actually, so, let's normalize. So, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's normalize the sex toys or even like having like mutual masturbation where it's just like you are there and I'm here and I'm doing this and you're doing that. Yes. And then at some point it's just like, oh my God, we can't take it anymore. Now we have to jump on each other. Yeah. Come on. Long distance Come on going this. to mutual masturbation. And that's like, that's like yeah. an untapped, you know, pleasure point. Yeah. Should we normalize phone sex? I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Zoom video. Sex, video video sex, call. Yeah. I mm. get like, cause you know, but not at the, on the phone. Like, oh, what are you wearing? I've never been into that. Really? Never been I into I just that. want to be there with you. I just want to touch you slow. No. Go down on you. No. Make you feel loved. When I can do this on FaceTime. Yeah. Show me on FaceTime what you want to okay, do. Okay, what me. about like Show on me WhatsApp? Daddy. On WhatsApp, like messages. Oh yeah, sexting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I love. Absolutely. I, I, I love sexting. sexting. Yeah, I love sexting. But that yeah. other one of like you know mm -mm. on the phone, it's not for me. Of course, I would prefer. Um, obviously, it's like we are together mm. or like we can see each other. But in the context where that is not necessarily available, or let's say you're at work. So you're not in a position to like do that. And it's kind of sexy. Like you're there in the work environment. No one around you knows what you're saying or what you're doing. It's just, it's like this is yeah. next to it. Yeah. Maybe like a remark or something or like, you know, oh, when you get home, I'll do, but not really like phone sex. Yeah. It's, yeah. I guess maybe yeah. the sex thing. Oh, you know what's really but nice? I'm open. It's like, imagine you're at dinner with like friends and stuff like that. You start opposite each other and you're just texting each other dirty things. That's cute. That's really cute. Uh, generally sexting is just yeah. like, oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My okay. last point, I had written this one down and I said we should start normalizing staying out of other people's sex lives. Like, for example? For example, um, I don't know. There's, I feel like sometimes it's like almost one of those things like um, you say anything about your sex life and it's almost like you just definitely get advice about how to do it, how not to do it, mm. what works better. Whereas like, I feel like sex is one of those things, which is like, it's very individual to every individual person. Yeah. I, I like, as I like, I've said this mm. before, it's like their, your values, what happens, especially with religion is that there's values which are there. Mm. Right. And sometimes those are not values, which you clearly align with. Yeah. And that's why we always see the mismatch between how, um, People is like what we have said that we need to do versus what people are doing. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there needs to be a shame. Sometimes the value system doesn't always align. It's yeah. like, you know, this is what you're being told. Yeah. Versus if it's not a value in you, you're not going to act on it. You're, you're going to do the opposite. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But anyway, for me, I, on this channel, actually, we just advocate for everyone to do sex how they want to do sex. If that's the consequences the are yours. The consequences are yours 100%. Yeah. If you break your hip, it's you. If it's if hell, you, you're going you to. tear your an an anal fissures, mm. it's also you. Mm. Even though we hope that that doesn't happen. I'm yeah. not sure about that happening to you. No. So people tell you that what? Yeah, like you it's shouldn't like, do yeah, it. Exactly. You're or it's wrong. Or that I'm a mom, so you shouldn't be talking about sex. Or that you know you're married, so you shouldn't be talking about sex. Or you shouldn't be having some certain kinds of sex. It can be very intrusive, actually. That's very, very interesting. Yeah. And really fucking annoying. I know. Extremely yeah. annoying. I'm just like, literally, it doesn't affect you in any way how I have sex whatever my preferences but it's giving, or anything. I'm not so why are you exactly it's the insecurity for me it's just like you know do whatever it is that you want to do mm -hmm. even when someone says for example they don't want to have sex and then other people are pressuring them like oh why aren't you doing it why you no, know it's whatever let it go. if someone says not to have sex that's great if someone decides to have sex with their three sexual partners that's great let and them so, do whatever right. yeah. it's so personal it's and so intimate and so about thing. me it's mm -hmm. like why are you here Jane yeah yeah why are you here, uh, why are you here? like I, I don't think we need to and even us when we talk about it and we talk about it, like we're saying like you should you mm -hmm. must really it's like uh, out of our own just conviction but mm -hmm. truthfully you don't have to do anything literally you don't, don't. have to no, do no. nada you can just watch do this how video you want. For, for enjoyment and enjoy and be like yeah. oh this is what they think and yeah. that's it and by the way also on Beducated not all the videos are necessarily about sex specifically they have videos about online dating about um even casual dating they have um videos about or like courses about uh, intimacy, things yeah. that don't necessarily involve sex. So even if you're not in a particular place where you're maybe you're having frequent sex, you're not sexually active, Beducated can still really help you improve, I guess, just the relationships around yeah, you. Yeah, it's it's actually not necessarily just about, because sex isn't just about the physical activity. Mm -hmm. It's so much about mm -hmm. that. More, so, uh, it's so much more than that. Yeah. So because of that, then that means that the topics that they're going to have aren't solely about that they're about mm -hmm. even body confidence because there are many things that are affecting mm -hmm. the physical activity that have nothing to do with just the yeah ding 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 exactly mm -hmm. and whether you're in a heterosexual relationship a homosexual relationship 
is the word homosexual still accepted? It is, but it was it was just made so nasty. But it is a it's a fact. It's like wow. heterosexual, homosexual. homosexual. But it's people used know, it to make like yeah, I'm people used someone to when I'm saying... make it really nasty. Yeah. But it's just like yeah, it's people used to use that. Okay, to yeah. Hurt so it, whatever kind of relationship you're in, they have content that specifically um for certain types of um partners or couples, but also some that can apply across the board. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and there are so many ways to express mm. yourself sexually, sweetheart. So many, so many. Ways. Some things that you don't, you didn't even know existed <laughs> till you see this, and you're like, wow. Some things you have to tilt your head sideways. Nice. You're like, how? Wait, how? And then yeah. you never know that could end up being your new favorite style, you and your hubby. Yeah. You and, and your hubby. And the more you know yourself, the yeah. more you lean into the comfort of mm. what intrigues you. Exactly. The more you're, you're likely to have like better um, sexual experiences. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So remember that the link is down in our description box and you can use the code TMI podcast for 40% of your annual subscription. Thank you so much, Beducated, for continuing to work with us. We literally we, we love la- it. We, uh, we are obsessed. We are we obsessed. Are obsessed. Thank with you with Beducated. so much. And thank, thank you guys you. so much for watching this episode. We will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.